and Norman Bone, they bought the house uh, shortly after it was foreclosed on. And you guys say you not only knew him from buying the house, but you knew him from church as well. Right. I've been knowing uh, Rusty for about 20, 25 years. I uh, met him at the church that we went to, at East Nice Baptist Church in Columbus. He and his wife and daughter. And you say you guys went to church, but that's not the same man that you know now. Oh, definitely not. It's, it's not. It's not. It's uh, not. We had a little trouble with him when we bought the house trying to get him out, and uh, he wasn't the same guy he was when I knew him earlier. And he vandalized the house, correct? Yes, he really done a job on it, uh, messed it up, put concrete down every drain. If you can think about messing up a house, he did. Every light, receptacle, and everything. Polycemented things, outlet, fuse box. It was everything. And this is even some of the purple paint, if you guys take a look right here. This awesome. is some of the paint that he had put in the house, is that right? All right. over the house, on the brick, every receptacle and everything. He just, you know, he, he messed it up before we left. He was very angry. And because you guys um, are the owners of the house now, you were contacted this morning by the FBI. We got a call this morning about 2.30 from the FBI. He identified himself and wanted to come over and search the house. I don't know why. I verified who he was. Met him at the Walpole House. We came over here about uh, three, about, should have been about three fifteen about that time. They blocked off the road. They looked at it and they brought me the keys back. And I said, "What is all about?" And he said, "Just check the news." Now I've spoken to your wife, your mom, and she described him as being a deep, dark person. How do you remember him being? Uh, in these last few years, what kind of person? Describe his personality. I, all the deals I had with him is after I purchased the house on a public outcry at the courthouse, I came over and said, Rusty, we, you know, we go back a long ways. How long will it take to get out of the house? How long do you need to get out of the house? He said, you're going to have to throw me out. So it started going down here. And what do you remember about his personality? Or... Just w once we purchased the house, his attitude changed. And in what way? Just angry. He was um, just angry that he would have to leave. He didn't have a home. Uh, we took the legal... Um, he went to the chain of command, you know, to get him out. It takes about 90 days or six months. But something. you told me he had, like, fish in the pool and... When we went through the court system, because we legally he had squatter's rights, uh, we had a lawyer, went to court, we posted it on the house that he needed to be at court. He never showed up. The next day, uh, after he didn't show up the next day, we came over here. I wanted my dad and my boyfriend to come over with the police and a locksmith to change the locks. We walked it, walked in, up the driveway, paint everywhere. That was just the start of it. Walked in the house, uh, paper, paint, uh, feces. He had fish in the pool in the backyard, 300 koi fish. He cut them up, spread them all over the place. You can't imagine uh, how the house smells. Cement all over the place. Um, but this isn't the kind of family that he came from. You no, said his no, mother no. was his your school teacher. She was my school teacher. Um, known her since I was in fourth grade. Nice woman. Uh, again, I knew Russ, um, Mr. Hauser at church. A nice man, gentleman with his wife and his child. Uh, hadn't seen him in years until we came over and just reported that we had bought the house. I worked with uh, Rusty's brother, Rim, at PCC way back. And, you know, I knew his wife. I did some work for his wife. So his mom. Good, good folks. Good folks. But he changed. I reckon he did, yes. And I, just over the past eight hours, having my mother call because the FBI agents calling about him. Um, my anxiety went up. I didn't want him to hurt. I know what he did to the house. I didn't want him to hurt us. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was verified. And nobody, were, he wasn't in town trying to play some kind of game with us. We, you know, did everything we, we legal. Um, I, I felt better once yeah. the FBI came in, I guess did a search on whatever they were looking for. I did not find out until this morning, along with everybody else that watches the news, that it was him over there in Benning City. But you were glad. Oh, yeah. I, I'm glad that he's not going to, I'm not going to be scared to move over here. Well, thank you guys so much, Cheryl. You heard this from uh, folks that knew him from church, knew his family from school.